Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Steve Cast. I am Steve, joined as usual by Rachel. Hello. Uh, returning guest host Matt. He has uh, decided to stop punishing us for uh, the, <laughs> the the great disrespect we paid him during the last American Ninja movie. I decided to grace you both with my presence tonight. You are welcome. Mm. You are welcome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, honestly, Actually, excited to be back. <laughs> Yeah, excited I'm excited to be you're back. back. I've missed you. Like, it, it, Steve and I have bonded, and it's been like we trauma bonded through some movies together. Yeah, but it's not the same without you, Matthew. Yeah, so I'm glad. Yeah, you're for back. the for the viewer who didn't watch, um, yeah, Rachel just pissed me off on that last <laughs> movie, and I just bailed. I was like, I'm fucking sick of this shit, and I quit. But I'm back now, yeah. so it's I good. like that it's, it's good. specifically <laughs> Rachel. Like I had nothing to do with this pair. Right, Steve. Yeah. Steve, you always piss me off. For Rachel a never decade. does. Yeah, for, you've teased me relentlessly for a decade. I cannot tell yes. you how many sandwich yes. requested quests I've uh, put up no. with over the Barefoot years. The I kitchen. tease you one time, and it's just like yeah, yeah. Rachel gives <laughs> that shit about one movie, and he fucking quits. After Can't after ten years of the constant uh, Matt Sogeny that he's directed your way, a, Matt Sogeny. Oh, you know. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Thank That's you, Steve. Th- thanks for also, making that a thing. Also joined oh God, by, by Jeff. Off. Hello, Jeff. Welcome to the Steve Cast. Hey, I'm I'm happy to be here. I'm a I'm a baby. Come lately. I just uh, usually I'm not available, but these I, like these people like who. Uh, you know These something people. cool, <laughs> like wow. you know, Good friends. You're, you're wow. a fan of the like the Kansas City Chiefs just because of Taylor Swift, right? Like, finally, you guys hit baby oopsie, which is something about which I care deeply, and so now I'm going to jump on the Steve Cast bandwagon. Yeah. So you just yeah. watched Baby Oopsie One. Did you watch Baby Oopsie Two? No, I was shotgunning. I you know I had other things to do, so I shotgunned Baby Oopsie One, cramming for a test like back in school, right? Um, so I just got off, you know, that credits just rolled on that. So here I am. So I don't know what happened in two. I know what happened in one. Actually, uh, surprisingly, I really liked the movie a lot. We did as well. Uh, yeah. We, okay. uh, so I, I, uh, I really found the characters great. I, yeah. I don't know that we've actually said it so far, uh, during this recording, but we are watching baby oopsie three tonight. Burn baby burn. Uh, mm-hmm. we watched, uh, I think baby oopsie one might have been the first episode of the revived Steve cast on outpost unknown. It was. Uh, yeah. We we really I don't I don't know that it was good, but we enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh, and then we watched Baby Oopsie Two, which is really just half of a movie because uh, it's only fifty five minutes. I think I think it was fine. I think we liked it, but probably not as nearly not nearly as much as the uh, first. Uh, I, I saw someone in the Discord requested some sort of recap, and so what I think <laughs> happened. We watched this like six months ago now. Yeah. What I think happened was. Sybil was all in on being super evil with the puppets and Ray Ray. Uh, two new evil puppets were created, which I think were like a clown and a cowboy. Uh, right. And, it, right. and then it, it, at some point, uh, uh, Sybil like, has a, a face turn. She no longer wants to be evil. And so mm. the end of the movie is she like she either poisons or drugs Ray Ray during dinner. And he passes out for like half a second before immediately like reviving with devil face breathing, like like actually sure. breathing fire like some sort of demon. So I think yeah. Ray Ray is a demon and Sybil's got to deal with that during Baby Oopsie 3, Burn Baby Burn. Yeah, I mean, I just finished Baby Oopsie 1 and at the end of Baby Oopsie 1, Ray Ray sort of like reveals himself and he's got like the glowing red eyes and he looks like he's got something going on. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, well, it, it part part two. We have nothing to say about part two. I love Ray Ray. I love Sybil. I love everyone in this movie. Uh, yeah, you should I watch part two because they they open that movie in like full bondage gear and they're they're luring Ooh. people off of like Craigslist personals, uh, to, and then they let the 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 doll. Or at that that point, I guess it's just baby oopsie. Uh, let's uh kill them. Uh, I doesn't in part two doesn't Sybil like find another person that wants to be a good guy i have some vague recollection of her going and and sharing her story with someone These characters are like complex my... like they've all got good motivations and like sybil's not like evil right but she just finds herself in a situation these this is this is good writing this is this is a better <laughs> quality than i expect from these types of you know toy movies that you guys like 
Uh, Matt, what hey, man, were... Charles Band doesn't fuck around with his toy movies. Mm-hmm. He absolutely fucks around with toys. Well, I think he does, and that's why I was surprised that's... by this one. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with these being called, like, seasons? Because Matt posted something saying that this was actually a TV show that, yeah, that I saw played that on over, IMDb. over seasons, but it's just, like, one movie. Like, So they released, yeah. like, one 55-minute thing, and it was like, that's season two. I, I, I don't think, get it. I think this Some is part of scam. Full Moon, the Full Moon streaming service. Yeah. Okay. Like, if you pay six ninety nine, and then bits and pieces of these movies that he makes, he just drops to try to keep you paying that six ninety nine a month going forward. So I think that's but, kind but of it, what they it were It wasn't doing season that. two, First, a baby free, oopsie. But after that, you got to pay. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't season two, yeah. a baby oopsie. It was season two of Full Moon. Is that what we're getting here? Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Don't think too hard about this. I I, I still feel like Charles Band made one movie and then cut it in half to get more money out of people. So, like, whatever. I I, I don't know if he's, like, selling these, if there are DVDs, but, like, whatever the equivalent of DLC is for movies, I think Charles Band (laughs) created that here with Baby Oopsie 2. Charles Band invented DLC for movies. That's great. He did. Uh, So Baby Oopsie 2 uh, is only 55 minutes. Uh, Baby Oopsie 3 is only 45. So again, this is just one movie that he cut in half. Uh, And so what we do on the Steve cast is we watch the movie in chunks. Uh, the, the, the time has fluctuated. I think last time Rachel and I did an episode, we did 20 minutes. This is only 45 minutes. So I think we say 15 minutes, okay. uh, break it up into three equally spaced chunks and, uh, you know, get done while, uh, you know, we, we all have the opportunity to still go and do something worthwhile with our night. <laughs> I, got, I, like I got two things quickly, two things two quickly. Things quickly. Okay. Um, I don't know if uh, if this has been brought, but I'm sure we'll get some sort of Full Moon fan crossover watching this episode. We do have a new show on Outpost Unknown, Full Moon Fridays. Steve, myself, and our good friend Borp from Sweden are watching – well, we started with Subspecies, Steve and I, and then we roped Borp into watching all of the Puppet Master movies in chronological <laughs> order. Not not in release date order, in chronological Like, so the timeline, timeline is correct, order. yeah. Ooh, yes, right. which somehow very makes, confused. makes less sense. Yeah, Borp is very confused. I don't even know if we'll be friends with him after this is over. He might not even make it all the way through. But you can check out Full Moon Fridays on Outpost Unknown for that. And the other qu- question I would have is, how does this all end, folks? We got to have make our predictions. We're about to watch Baby Oopsie three. To my knowledge, there are no more Baby Oopsie movies. So we'll start with Rachel. How does this end? Oh, this is rough because I was the person that asked for the recap because I re- I'm realizing like uh, my ADHD is not good for six month breaks. But I do yeah. think I remember Same there was here. something about baby oopsie betray or like Sybil betraying baby oopsie. Um, does that sound familiar, Steve? That, like, yeah, she, she, she tries to be she tries to return to the side of good during baby oopsie too. Mm. So yeah, she, some sort of betrayal will happen. It's I think it's just a question of does she win or not? Does do we get oh, a yeah. Sybil doll? Does Sybil get sacrificed on the doll mm. altar and we have like a Sybil like cabbage patch doll? It is the, the fourth like... demonic toy. I remember she got a leather jacket, so she was like pretty hardcore in the second yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. So I don't I don't think you can take down someone that badass. I think ultimately she is gonna be the the one who wins over Ray Ray. If anything, right. she do like the like hold her hand on his head while he like swings on her a bunch. It'll be great. Okay. Well, what happens to what happens to baby Oopsie and the other puppets? Do I they mean, die I think at the it's end of gonna this? look like they're dead, but then we're gonna see some sort of like post credit. Um, don't worry, this will never actually end as long as you'll pay money for it. Okay. Cash yeah. Crap. Does Charles yeah. Band have yeah. the balls to set up a baby Oopsie quadrilogy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he does. We need, we need- Yes, he does. Baby Oopsie versus Puppet Master. I mean, that's coming, right? That's got to... I mean, there, there is a brand new like Puppet Master continuity, the reboot. So we, we've already had uh, Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys. Now we've got to do that in the, the new universes that these movies take place in. Steve, Steve, every Puppet Master movie is a new universe because it doesn't make any sense. That's true. <laughs> that is 100% true. Uh, Jeff, yeah, you've only seen one Baby Oopsie movie. How do you... You, skipping part two, how do you go from part one, 
to this? How do you how do you see it ending? Having only seen uh, the first? it's going to end in a total nonsense cop out. This is a mass formation psychosis <laughs> thing among genre filmmakers. Everyone who makes uh, one of these movies, Charles Band is no exception. He's maybe the icon or whatever. They all think that the characters that they've created are super cool and super awesome and need to endure. They're all up their own ass about how cool their their guy is. And so I guarantee whoever made this movie is up their own ass about how cool they think Baby Oopsie is. And I like the Baby Oopsie. She's just uh, kind of riffing on Chucky, I think, from what I saw in part one. But uh, so it's going to be some cop out at the end where Baby Oopsie's still alive, might come back or little eyes open at the end or whatever, something like that. Exactly. Okay. No, Steve. Uh, it's going to end very, very stupidly. I have no faith in Charles Van's ability to pull off like some sort of satisfying conclusion. Mm. Mm. Okay. And on I, that note, are we uh, ready to watch well, the first what's fifteen Matthew's minutes? Prediction? I guess it, no, what's no, it, no, it no, 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 I want to know. No, 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 Rachel, it doesn't fucking matter. You see, it's already starting. It's already starting, Rachel. I'm about to bail halfway through this stupid thing. No! Let's get rolling, Steve. Let's get All rolling. Right, doing it, doing it. Give us a uh, I've, I've got baby oopsie three pulled up on two B. Five, four, three, two, one. Push play. Fuck you, Matt. We are back. back. The first 15 minutes of uh, Baby Oopsie 3, uh, uh, Burn Baby Burn. Uh, uh, the the dolls are only in the opening 15 minutes for maybe 37 seconds, so that's a little disappointing. Well, and you know, it, you don't want to show your hand yeah. right away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever helps Mr. Band it's, sleep at night. It's part three, though. Part three, oh, okay, we okay. already know what we should yeah. expect. The toys. Yeah. Yeah, but what we don't get in toys, they make up for, I guess, in Demon Ray Ray. Uh, yeah. So in the beginning, uh, or, or this good. movie uh, starts with uh, Ray Ray in his demon form, has been uh, tied up to a chair, and, and Sybil is trying to have the the shittiest exorcism ever, because she just turned on... Worse like, than the, the one in Believer, or no? Uh, this is other on par. <laughs> But I think she fucking just turned on like the knockoff 700 club and just it's just le- like letting like televan just making Ray Ray watch like a televangelist on TV while while she holds up uh, a cross to him and, and Ray Ray is you know he's a demon he's you know projectile vomiting he's telling Sybil the doll will kill you and and I'll shit on your grave uh, I- I'm loving Demon Ray Ray so far in this movie. <laughs> Uh, Demon <laughs> Ray Ray is great. Uh, so where are yeah. the toys at, at this point in time? Uh, at the end, I remember at the end of part two, Sybil's like, "Oh, Ray Ray, let's 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 uh, put the toys away and and have us a fun night." And so they just put the toys in a trunk. Uh, well, they're still in the trunk. So the, we get like one 30 second shot of the toys in the trunk. Just like, hey, let us the fuck out of here. We don't want to be in here anymore. And then the rest <laughs> of the this 15 minutes is just. Um, Sybil and Ray Ray. Uh, we see some returning characters. I, I mentioned in the, before we started the movie that there was like a, uh, I thought Sybil had tried to reach out and find someone to help her. And that was correct. There is a, a priest whose name I don't know. Uh, but he found, he, he, he found like the toy Necronomicon yeah. in the, in the Vatican archives. It's like in the old day when you had like the, the JC Penny catalog and you'd go through the toy book and like circle the things you want. He has that. But with demons, yeah. But with uh, and demons. so this this yeah. toy Necronomicon is like uh the they will raise an army of demonic toys and they will un- they will you know destroy the planet and unleash the toy master. Uh, so it it looks like the toy yeah. master is going to be uh some sort of character in this movie and so the let it be jester let it be finally give jester something you can't do, do anything oh no, my god that anything. would be incredible <laughs> jester, he's, like, oh, he's wow. been hiding his power this whole time they would immediately like oh, banish man. him to sit game. on a shelf and he would do nothing uh as a funny <laughs> aside like matt was so angry at the last puppet master movie because during the final yes. fight Literally, like Access the the new evil. puppet master character just left Jester at home, like didn't even bring him to the <laughs> final fight. He takes every puppet, and they never mention Jester. Jester's never there in the final fight, and then in the next movie, apparently they go back home, and he's just sitting on the dresser. Hell yeah, what the fuck is that about? Couldn't even be bothered <laughs> to bring Jester. Anyways, uh, the toy Necronomicon <sighs> says, uh, uh, "The toy, the 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 evil toy army will rise." summon the toy master and just, you know, destroy the planet. And so the, 
the, the priest is very much on a uh, civil side now. He he wants to uh, go and uh, you know help, but the, the I guess the the lead priest of this church uh, is like this is fucking stupid. Uh, but you know whatever, go don't don't get <laughs> what, go go do it. Don't do whatever you want. He knows want. the score. <laughs> uh, Wait, what so, is the so, score? So so uh, like priest guy is going to uh, to go and help Sybil. He he calls her and is like, hey, I believe you. I want to offer my help. She's like, it's, it's too fucking late. And hangs up on him. Uh, and so they, we get some Jeez. we we get scenes of him flipping through the toy Necronomicon, and then he flips through the toy Necronomicon again. And then he flips through the yeah. toy Necronomicon again. And then he flips through the toy Necronomicon again. Um, but eventually he gets like his his preparing to fight sequence where, uh, you know, he's he's got the rosary beads and he's got the toy Necronomicon. He's got like a, an exorcist book. He's got little vials of holy, holy water. water. He is going to go Damn. and try to kick some demonic toy ass. Uh, meanwhile, like we get a bunch of returning characters in the previous movies. There, there's this very... Uh, Barbie skipper girl dressed in all pink with a pink gun. Uh, her and her boss, I believe, they they were in the previous movie, and their goal was to steal the toy designs to make like knockoff toys uh, overseas. Uh, so but she's I was got informed f- this was her introduction. I'm very confused. Hmm. Is this movie lying know. to me? I it, if I can't trust Charles Band, yes. who the hell can I trust? I hope you're sitting Rachel, down, but Charles Tannen Band may have led you astray. There's no uh, such thing are as titles candidates. also irrelevant? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the credits are irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> you can't trust anything. Can- canon is very important. Uh, but the skipper has a like a gun covered in like pink glitter, and she she like cocks it, and she's gonna go, I guess, uh, yeah. try to steal the toys from Sybil. Uh, <laughs> Sybil, like, uh, there's, there's, in one of the movies, I don't remember if it was part one or part two. Uh, there was a character that was like staying in the house and I think the toys eventually killed her. Uh, I never and... understood who that person was supposed to. She's just a boarder. Like, yeah, she I, there? I think yes. like so in the okay. part yeah, one, she was, like... just, she was a roommate. She was okay. a roommate. Right, okay. Yeah. Cause okay. the house was owned by like Sybil's mom or stepmom. And right. there was, Sybil's you know, father Sybil's... owned all this stuff, the house included and died. And then the, the, the witchy stepmother, you know, snaked the, the house and the inheritance away. Okay, and also they just had like the this conventionally attractive woman that just happened to be crashing in the house, and I think yeah. she died. And so her her boyfriend shows up in, in these first fifteen minutes. Is like, hey, um, my my nameless girlfriend. Have you seen her? And Sybil's like, nope, don't know where she is. And he's like, well, her car is still parked outside. Nope, I don't know where she is. Don't come back. If I see her, I'll let you know. Uh, he walks down the street and runs into a detective that I don't remember, and it's Detective Clink. And Detective yeah, Clink is like, uh, "Hey, let's let's you and me work <laughs> together to to figure out what's going on here." Uh, Sybil, after ending her call with the priest that apparently is going to help her, goes back to Ray Ray, and Ray Ray is now normal, and he's like, "Oh, you you know you." You hit me with the frying pan just enough times to knock the demons out of me. It's not. I'm completely worse. okay now. And Sybil's like, "Yep, stories checks out." And so Sybil <laughs> releases Ray Ray. Uh, they go over to the the trunk of toys with the intention to destroy the toys. Uh, but of course, Ray Ray reverts to demon form, knocks her out. The toys have been freed, and now uh, Demon Ray Ray is going to uh, enact whatever his plan is. And that is where we are paused. Yeah. Thoughts, opinions about the first fifteen minutes. Uh, baby oopsie three burn baby well, burn. I'm, in, I'm into it again i'm missing the context from baby oopsie two but um in spite of myself like you guys talk about oh man we're gonna watch puppet master 19 and i'm like like you guys are <laughs> idiots what are you doing why why but like this Stop you know judging in, us in spite of myself <laughs> well that's what i'm saying like maybe maybe through baby oopsie i'm getting a glimpse of like what you guys see when you look at puppet master right so i'm like okay Good. okay maybe i get it i find i'm enjoying this this is fun so maybe this is how these guys feel when they watch, you know, Puppet Master 32. And it's like the stupid clown guy, you know, like Matt said, not doing anything like but the they still love it. It's still guy. Like, stupid it's still it. this or clown <laughs> guy. Well, <laughs> so, what, what is this dump on Matthew Knight or something? What do you talk about? <laughs> stupid clown guy. Well, what the yeah, fuck? I, I thought Masa- <laughs> or misogyny was something directed at Rachel. Does this, is there some sort of Matt? Mis- Hey, is there some sort of full moon cinematic universe? Like, is is does this exist in the same universe with Toulon and the puppets and stuff? Yes. 
It does. Okay. Yes. Okay. And also, yeah. Doll yep. Man exists yep. in the same universe. I never saw Demonic Toys. I don't know what that is. I can take a guess. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Okay. At some point, we are going wrong. to watch <laughs> Doll Man versus Demonic <laughs> Toys, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah. I I guess, you, say you, raised, you raised yeah. your hand, yeah. so I guess go for it. Great. Well, I raised my hand. I was completely ignored. So I'm just double checking, right? Um, I love you all. I'm just giving you shit. Hmm. I actually appreciate the 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 filming quality of this. Yeah. Believe it or not, yes, it actually looks really good. There's drone shots. It opens in this really cool like tracking shots of this really you know amazing. I would assume Catholic cathedral church. Uh, super super cool. Uh, it it looks very. They look like a movie. High quality. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you compare this to some of the, like, for example, Retro Puppet Master that we just watched, Steve, um, I think this looks way better. And I, obviously, I know the technology has changed over a certain amount of years, but this actually just looks much, much better to me. So I'm impressed. I think the, the props look great. The actual toy Necronomicon looks very, very cool. You can see some of the other demonic toys in there, and it's multiple pages. It's not like it's just one page somebody did some drawings on they never somebody took the time to paint it up and do it all looking cool i think it looks pretty cool as a pr- overall production it's it's slick it's the the toy master design in the the puppet or the toy necronomicon looks awesome i hope that like s- surely that they're going to actually bring that character out in this movie they will summon that character i'm hoping it looks as cool as its uh design in the book I'm kind of into this question mark. Like, it's, <laughs> I think you yeah. have to be kind of. We're we're fans of Full Moon, Steve. You don't have yeah. to be embarrassed yeah. to say we you're kind of into this. We also recognize that Full Moon pumps out a lot of shit, but I feel like I am consistently uh, uh, surprised that Baby Oopsie seems to have some effort placed behind it and some yeah. charm. Like, I actually am invested in these characters. Like, I like Sybil. I, I like Sybil on Ironically, I like yeah. her. I genuinely I, yeah. am invested in her journey. And I like Ray Ray, too. I mean, he's a good foil. He's... A, I, this movie knows exactly what it is, and it's not trying to be anything else, and it's doing... Yeah, I... I I genuinely enjoy these movies. I don't know if my bar is just so, so low now, but when we're watching one of these, I'm like, okay, I'm going to have a good time for 45 minutes because the world building and the, and all of the mythology is absurd, but fun and creative. I don't know. I like these movies. Uh, my, yeah. my perception is that they're these, this movie respects Sybil and Ray Ray and these characters. It's not just taking the piss out of them. It's like treating yes. them with respect. Yeah, it's not kicking down at them, and I feel like you, they, yeah. it could very easily turn very mm. mean and nasty, and yeah. it's not like everybody's in and on the joke that de- in a way that doesn't feel cruel mm. or I don't know. I agree with you. I think that's a big part of it. Yep. Yeah. I remember when one we watched part slight... one, oh, we were thinking when we watched part one, like I think we were expecting it to be very mean yeah. to these characters, and then it I turned out it. They, mm-hmm. they, it turns out that yeah. they were no, like they are appropriately treated as the leads in this story. Mm-hmm. It's also, it's also like a good thing to show. Um, how do I say this in ways that won't become problematic? Uh, but <laughs> individuals who are not your standard, traditional, attractive, generic people in movies, mm-hmm. like you mm-hmm. have people who, who are not sort of like the, you know, the traditional standard of beauty, I guess, when it mm-hmm. comes to cinema, being yeah. on screen and stuff and treating those characters with respect. So I agree that that's a, that's a really cool aspect and interesting aspect of it. Other thing I'll just mention is a little bit of backstory here. Uh, Charles band was based in Los Angeles or Santa Monica area for most of his career. Um, I think it was like three or four years ago. It was right before COVID. Uh, essentially he left California because the taxes were just too high on it he like he could not make movies in california anymore um and so commentary how is, is was that an is that an accurate uh problem in california rachel is that is that a problem yeah, uh, exactly. so he fled <laughs> he he fled and he went to ohio probably like and absconded bought, is like, probably the appropriate word absconded <laughs> absconded yeah he's probably got a large tax bill in california he absconded he fled across state lines to to Ohio, uh, and he bought like his huge mount mansion, 
for like dirt cheap, like a giant mansion. Yeah. He's like, there's no way I could have bought this in California. Uh, but he bought it in, in Cleveland, Ohio. And now they film like tons of full moon stuff in this oh, mansion. Wow. It's just like the, they work out of there. They film, they write all their movies around, you know, locations within this mansion and, and they can keep production costs down that way. And apparently it's got like a huge, lots and everything like acres and cool. acres that they can film outside and stuff like that so just an interesting thing so if we watch more full moon movies like this in the future i'm sure we're going to see a lot of the same locations popping up from from movie to movie when are we getting yeah, kind of of a, a mansion that's what i want to know you'll see like boomer well, Isaias well, and walk in the oh no he's cincinnati never mind yeah. <laughs> DJ, uh, yeah, Bernie, yeah. Bernie Kozar. Bernie Kozar. Bernie Kozar. Bernie Kozar. Yeah. You got there before I did. <laughs> um, uh, no, see, DJ, Rachel, DJ, DJ now has a couple empty houses in Aurora. Hell yeah. Nice. There, that's going to be the Dream Thief Mansion right there. Yes. Dream Thief Mansion yeah. in Aurora, Compound. Nebraska. Flumlord <laughs> <Yes>. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we got, it, Steve. Yeah, I think. I, I, are we ready to uh, watch minutes fifteen to thirty of Baby Oopsie Hell Three? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's I need to do see it. The further adventures of my it. girl Sybil. Five, four, three, I'm two, one. I'm paused on your just stupid. Play. Potato dick. Potato dick. Potato dick. No, no, no! Don't listen to him. All right. Man, that, that, that portrait in the background looks like those um, those awesome Gone in Movie posters. That's what it looks like. That I have no idea what Jeff just said. Uh, mm. We're back. Fifteen minutes, fifteen to thirty of uh, uh, Baby Oopsie Three. Uh, burn, baby, burn. I think we are all really, really enjoying this movie so far. Uh, the, the toys are actually doing things. Some some new victims have shown up. Uh, I, I'm I'm. I'm all in on this movie. So, so bravo, Charles Band. Matt, did you figure out who actually directed this? I did. Um, give me one second. Let me bring it Thank back you. up. Thank my you. ADHD I'm... She's already made me forget. <laughs> William Butler. William Butler. All right. William so, Butler did it. Yes. Well, William what Butler is putting in work. William Butler done? Well, let me tell you, Rachel. I'm glad you, I'm glad you asked. Um, his most recent thing, Demonic Toys Jack Attack. So mm. we saw Jack Attack in the book. The same guy mm. made Demonic Toys Jack Attack. Uh, Carnage Collection, Evil Edibles, um, Deadly Dollies, The Resonator, Sensing The a Twelve theme. Slays of Christmas. And he also did Baby Oopsie 2, uh, My Babysitter the Superhero, and Curse of the Reanimator from 2022, which I didn't even know existed. Is this I've never heard of that. Movie? I'm going to have to Curse of the that. Reanimator? That can't be a Herbert West joint, can it? Uh, hold on. Let me look. I'm looking. I'm looking. Talk amongst yourselves. I was going to say, great well, So, Steve, let me ask you this. Because <laughs> I did not do my homework and watch Baby Oopsie 2. Now, is it yeah. true that this is, like, exactly a cutoff, like, exactly the same shooting as Baby Oopsie 2, and they just cut it in half? Or does this yeah, somewhat this, appear to be separate? No, this looks like they made a movie and cut it in half at about the okay, midway point. Okay. That's what the, the, the end yeah. of Baby Oopsie 2 is Sybil like attacking Demon Ray Ray for the first time, and then the beginning okay. of this one is okay. Demon Ray Ray is tied to the chair. So yeah, it looks like they just made made a, an 80-minute movie and uh, cut it in half. Matt is holding something up to the screen. It's, it's just, Yeah, it's just a white light. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Herbert West is in this. Not Jeffrey oh, Combs. Not Jeffrey but Combs. Oh, Josh, okay. Josh Cole is playing some Herbert West. Okay. Don't know anything I'll, about I, it. I'll, I'll check that out for sure. All right, I'm all on that. Uh, all right. So mm-hmm. what happens during this 15 minutes? Uh, uh, Ray Ray is, is tied Sybil up. Uh, the dolls are attacking Sybil. Like she's getting stabbed in the ankle. One of them has like a fucking like toy chainsaw that they're, they're chopping into her. Uh, one yeah, of them. Why can't hit- Jester pick up a chainsaw? For God's sake. It wouldn't be let funny. Jester have a chainsaw. Maybe Jester can like spin his head so fast that if he just like nuzzled up against yeah. someone, it would like like grate their face. He's got to be funny. Here we it's go. got to be like a joke. Blades at the tips. See, Blades at the tips. Like yeah, like the balls on his on his thing. Like spikes come out. He spins around so fast he just slices people in half. Just we'll pick that straight through to him. Charles Band, and I'm sure he will oh, never no. ever do that. Uh, <laughs> so he's an uh, asshole. Sybil is you being write like a jester treatment and just send it to yeah, them. Yeah, like jester origins. You know? I don't. Yeah. I, I, here's the thing, Rachel. I would do that. 
Do I trust he would steal it <laughs> and, and make it on his own? I don't. You got to mail it to your a copy to yourself at the same time through the snail mail so you can see. Yeah. Then yeah. <laughs> <it. laughs> you get the mansion. <laughs> okay. And yeah. then it becomes Dream Three Fuck. Yeah. Studios. I like it. I like it. So. Sorry, Sybil Steve. Is, continue. <laughs> Sybil is being attacked by the puppets while Ray Ray is summoning demons. Uh, but then the, uh, the the priest shows up, and his name is Father McGavin. So Father McGavin uh, shows up to uh, shooter to, uh, to 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 fight uh, Ray Ray, <laughs> and so I and so he he, like for breakfast. he 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 splashes <laughs> Demon Ray Ray with holy water, which makes Demon Ray Ray like flail around and fall on the ground. And so now Father McGavin is uh, he's he, he's exercising Demon Ray Ray, and Demon Ray Ray and the puppets are like. Oh, you got a tiny dick. You got a tiny dick. And Father McGavin's like, God, maybe maybe I do have a tiny I dick. Maybe that. maybe I'm I not. Maybe I don't have the strength to exercise this demon. And the the, the demonic toys are like, tiny dick, tiny dick. But he he Father McGavin powers through this all of happened? that. Yes. <laughs> Did this happened. Yes. this? Yeah, I didn't see that on the subtitles. Okay, I didn't either. Wow. This is this is what I, happens I, now that we don't pause the call uh, while we're watching the movie. I am like focused on this film while I have yeah. three other people like having <laughs> sidebar conversations in my ear. Listen, are you, are, are you, you started even... this format after I left. Don't be blaming no. me for any of this. Rachel I'm just doing what you started want. this format after you left. The format Rachel is sound. The one that wanted to... You are consenting uh, party to this. Don't start uh, it, anyway. it's, always the, is it, it's always the woman's fault? Is that what you're saying, Steve? It's always the woman's fault? That's what it, it sounds is. like you're like saying. It's like the misogyny is strong. Are you three <laughs> sure? <laughs> Are it you is. three sure? Are you three sure you even <laughs> like this movie? Because I'm not sure you're actually watching any of it. I'm oh, sorry, man. I missed what the I've tiny s- dick part. <laughs> like, what I've, I've seen, I've, I like. Yeah, this is great. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, the, the puppets. I'm watch part two after this. The puppets probably. are yelling at Father McGavin. You have a tiny <laughs> dick, and he's like, he's like struggling to perform the exorcism because of this. But he eventually Can you say it like the puppet says it. Yeah, say it like. The uh, I can't. <laughs> Say it like the uh, do, do it, like Steve. The do it. Tiny dick. Tiny dick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Father McGavin powers through the commentary on his small penis and successfully exercises Demon Ray Ray. Uh, it, the puppets are just standing there letting this happen. Uh, and so after the exorcism is a success, then the puppets attack and kill Father McGavin. Uh Ray Ray, who is now human again, uh, uh, frees Sybil, but the puppets lock them in the basement. So now the puppets mm-hmm. are upstairs reading from the puppet Necronomicon. Um, meanwhile, we get various shots of people like getting ready to go to this house. So it looks like we're going to have like, like gearing a sh- up, like Commando, where he's like... Yeah, except yeah, yeah. two of them have guns, uh, which is probably uh, the, the right call yeah. for this. Uh, but it looks like a bunch of potential victims are all just going to converge on this house at the same time. So we see uh, uh, Skipper, the, the the Barbie girl. She's got her pink sparkly gun. She drives up to the house. Uh, the detective and conventionally attractive girl's boyfriend uh, go to the house to because the, he find the the boyfriend finally opened a missing persons report. And the cop is very excited. I don't remember this cop at all from the previous movie. I assume he was there, but he's like he's got a gun and he's loading the bullets and he's like, Haha, I can't yeah, wait to use go. this. Uh, we Do see uh, like uh, Skipper's boss is very angry about something. Uh, there was a, a a postal worker that had a crush on Sybil throughout the previous mm-hmm. movies, and he's out buying flowers. I assume he's going to deliver them to the house. A bunch of people are all going are all getting ready to go to this house while the dolls are getting ready to summon a uh, toy hell. Uh, Sybil and uh, and Ray Ray are trying to to break out of the basement. Uh, they, they, they're so far, they're unsuccessful. The only people that have actually entered this house at this point that are still alive are the cop and, and the boyfriend character. Uh, 
nothing's happened to the cop yet. Like uh, 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 baby oopsie, you know, tells the other toys like, Hey, go and get them. And they're like, you know, the, the cowboy is doing this ridiculous cowboy uh, accent saying, yippee Kaye motherfucker. He's got a fucking lasso that he slings around and he ties it around the boyfriend's neck. And he's currently like trying to choke out the boyfriend. Uh, the, the clown puppet has like a, a, like a knife or a mallet or something. And he's like stalking the cop. Uh, the, pu- the, the toys are loose in the house and fresh victims are currently entering the house. Uh, and that is where we are paused. Like we were laughing our asses off throughout this entire 15 minutes. Steve, I have a question for you. Yes. You live in a home filled with toys. If you found yourself Those trapped things. in your home, yes, and the toys came alive and they were trying to basically kill you, how, how, what would be the best way you'd go about stopping, preventing your death from I, I would assume that I am no match for them and I would probably very quickly <laughs> die. I'm slightly outnumbered, <laughs> uh, if you can see that, that shit behind me yeah. there. Uh, there's also like... 10 plastic totes of other like transformers and shit in my storage room. Uh, I would die very quickly. Like toy hell would begin at my house. Yeah. I'm just curious because like if, if one like your Megatron comes to life, does the Megatron, can it shoot like lasers or whatever? Can it, would it have all the same weaponry that a transformer has, or would it just be in toy form and it can't really do anything? Cause then couldn't you just I kick it? See, the, these are, these are like, toy rules that we have to, to create for the mythology that we are now creating. Yeah, I don't know. It's All actually right. it's actually my dream for Baroness from G.I. Joe to kill me. So I would just let it happen, man. <laughs> fair. Fair. Uh, very fair. fair. All right. Uh, I mean, I, I set up what happened with thoughts, opinions on minutes 15 to 30 of Baby Oopsie 3. No, I think this movie is sick. To. This is like, like again, I haven't seen part two, but with the way you described it, I think that um, like uh, part two was Infinity War, and then part three here, ba- uh, Baby UC three is End Game. So like, it's this is uh, everything is converging on the fulcrum, and we're going to get the payoff to this this cinematic universe here, and it's probably never going to be the same after this. If they, like, just like the MCU has not been the same after after End Game, I kind of feel like we're really driving towards something huge here at the end of baby oopsie three and like uh, full moon, maybe doll puppet movies, uh, you know, all of them. It's just never going to be the same after this. Clearly. Yeah. I mean, it right. does feel a little epic with that montage. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think so. 100%. Definitely. Rachel, you had a question you'd like to ask. I did. I'm curious what each of your favorite of the baby oopsies are. Are you team clown? Are you team OG or are you team cowboy? I think, and, the, we'll, and I will judge you. So, okay, uh, I'm Team Clown. <laughs> uh, don't don't think don't think too much into that. Uh, okay. I just think he's got the coolest design. Uh, he's got a big fucking hammer that he's gonna hit people with, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, he's he's only this is only his second appearance. He's done more than Jester has done in any of the Puppet Master movies, and they have Man, arguably are... like the same <laughs> role. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> Uh, tell me where I'm wrong. <laughs> the truth hurts, you, Matt. Steve. The truth hurts. You, it does. It does. So stop harming your friend. Stop harming your friend. Matt, who is your favorite? It's a toxic relationship we have right now. Um, my favorite. I'm probably going to go... I'm going to go Baby Oopsie. Traditional classic Baby Oopsie is my favorite. Mm-hmm. I'm going all the way back to Demonic Toys. So, yeah, Baby Oopsie. The, the, not the variants. I don't – not into the variants. OG Baby Oopsie. All right. Very vanilla. Okay. How about you, Jeff? What's your fave? I, I'll I'll echo Matt. It's just the the straight up baby oopsie doll. But I I do feel now I don't have all the context of the demonic toys and everything. I feel like it's a little disappointing that it feels to me just watching these movies that it's kind of just a riff on Chucky. Like I don't know what's different about baby oopsie than Chucky. Maybe I need more context. But all that said, even even that said, it's still the just the the main baby oopsie. Mm. We are a podcast divided because I am also Team Clown. I like the okay. hammer. Yes. Like, the, like if I was going to buy one of the toys and put it behind okay. me, it would yeah. 100% be the clown. Well, if I was buying a toy, it would be the cowboy. No, okay. cowboys are okay. stupid. Yeah. Well, cowboys are fucking dumb. Cow- well, 
Cowboys are not dumb. Uh, wasn't one of your favorite puppets Six Shooter? No. Six Shooter is the best puppet. What? Puppet. <laughs> He's oh got my six God. arms what? with guns. It's my favorite okay. puppet is, my favorite puppet is Blade. It's the least erasure for me. I said what is one going of on? your favorite puppets. I didn't say your favorite, but I thought you really enjoyed There's Six Shooter. There's only like six of them i mean i guess he can be like my he can be like number four or five on the list but it's a short He's list never won kamikaze. uh kamikaze <laughs> is great uh, i cannot wait to talk about hey, kamikaze hey, again. godzilla minus zero minus one whatever that movie is awesome and that's about a kamikaze yes it is so what what's wrong with the puppet master kamikaze that could have been the oh, everything of guy from godzilla everything <laughs> Rachel, <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, you look, Rachel, you look like you have thoughts on this. <laughs> it's the same I'm not guy waiting into this. I don't know. <laughs> you already caught me on the original Steve Cass talking about comic <laughs> <laughs> that one, day, one day, I will have to edit that cast and see if it can be salvaged for YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, like mm-hmm. I mean, this this 15 minutes is awesome. Like the yeah. the, pu- the the I keep saying Let's puppets. Go. The toys are doing things. We've had some deaths. Uh, the, pu- the the puppets ah the toys are definitely like more animated than any of like the recent puppet master movies. Uh, oh, so the, this this is the finale. We've got fifteen minutes yeah, left 15 in the baby Oopsie saga. Where do we think this is going? Like, there's a bunch of potential victims converging on this house all at once. Are we going to see the toy master? And is it going to be as oh, cool okay. as his design in yeah, the book? I, want to I would be very master. disappointed if the toys fail <laughs> to summon the toy master. Corey Here we go. Feldman would be amazing. <laughs> no, this is what's amazing. They summon the toy master, and it's Charles Band. Huh? Charles Band? The t- it's it's meta. It go we go full yeah. meta with baby. It's scene. like full scream. meta. It's like full moon scream. Sybil yes, and, that's Sybil and Ray I Ray. pick Charles Band out of a lineup, so I'll take I him. He's just sure he's the guy that like, they, like, makes the hair on the back or... of your neck stand up, and that's probably him, Rachel. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, for me, I can't, like, him and Lloyd Coffin are essentially the same person in my brain. I It's always yeah, hard to remember I mean, which one's which. I don't know. No, man, I'd be way more afraid of Charles or uh, uh, Charles Band. Yeah, I'd be okay, way more afraid. Okay, you're in a dark alley. Yeah, <laughs> I would run beverage. towards Lloyd Kaufman and away from Charles Band. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm gonna have to I would this, protect dude. Lloyd Kaufman yeah. from Charles yeah, Band. Yeah, yeah. As well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lloyd Kaufman's a national treasure. He must be protected at all costs. Yeah. Okay, Simple. but what does that make Charles Band if he's not a national treasure? What is he? An offender of he's some like, sort. You know. <laughs> He's a he's just he's a cool guy, but he's like a carnival barker type of guy, right? Like he's you know hawking his yeah. wares. The wares are what they are, you know. Like he's the doctor snake oil salesman. Of, of yeah, movies. he's hustling. He's hustling. You know, snake. game respect. You, you appreciate, game. yeah, you appreciate the hustle. Yeah, um, but he's done. I mean. Charles Mann has done some fairly problematic things that we have witnessed firsthand, Steve and I, <laughs> at various times. And, um, you know, a lot of the movies aren't the greatest. I'll say that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But, <laughs> don't go out yeah. on a limb there. Yeah, so, um, I don't know. Yeah, he uh, has, Band. like, off-the-strip, like, um, uh, magician look to him a little bit. Like, he, he yeah. looks like he wants yes. me, he's going to ask me to pick any card. Did you ever and play then, that game in the '90s from Sierra called Phantasmagoria? Hell Rachel, yeah, Roberta Roberta Williams did it. We should stream Doesn't that. Remind side you of side note: much. We should stream that. We should. We should stream a playthrough of that. Uh, he reminds me scary? of the magician Carnivash. Okay. Uh, oh, well, I don't know if you'd find Rachel. it scary now because you know find it's, it, scary, it was a full it's motion. Just- Oh, yeah, it's a pinnacle. It. It's yes. a pinnacle of the form of the thing. The thing that it is, it's full like the pinnacle video, of the yeah. thing that it is. Yeah. Okay. But okay, we gotta set that yeah, up. Sorry, I, I, I can't do that. So yeah. Sorry, we sidetracked Steve. Steve's anyway, got the I'm pissed sorry. off look on his face because yeah, he wants to, to talk keep about going this movie. <laughs> you guys get to talk about whatever you want. I have to focus on this fucking <laughs> yeah. movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sybil yeah. is right. currently locked in a basement with a bunch of dolls, and I'm hoping she summons an army of good dolls because, as yes. that knows, I am a fan of good puppets and good toys coming alive. Oh, yeah. 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 Hate it. That's what I'm hoping Hate for. It. And now let's finish this fucking movie. The exciting conclusion of baby oopsie three potentially the conclusion of the entire baby oopsie saga i am pushing play now 
<laughs> All right, <laughs> Steve. That no. was it. The finale uh, of Baby Oopsie 3, Burn Baby Burn. Potentially the, the finale of the entire uh, Baby Oopsie saga. Uh, no. Oh, no. No. Not, Not at no, all. No. Not at all. I mean, we just saw this... The cliffhanger ending. But Baby Oopsie, uh, I would assume that Baby Oopsie is not going to be in those. I assume that they're moving on to, no. to other dolls like Jack Attack. No. Yeah. Ja- Charles mm. Band has so many versions of that doll. Baby Oopsie's coming back. Right. No well, according really to Matt, dead. Baby Oopsie. Potential properties. Uh, Baby Oopsie is coming back. Uh, so the the final fifteen minutes, uh, some 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 good, some bad there. I don't know if it was the ending that we all wanted. Uh, so basically, uh, the, the the beginning of this is uh, 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 the cowboy just executes uh, the boyfriend and the cop. Uh, he just, he has yeah. a gun and he just puts it to both of their heads and, and blows go. them away. Um, Skipper also enters the house. Uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, Sybil's like annoying, terrible like stepmom, her ghost. Uh, lets uh, Ray Ray and Sybil out of the basement. And so now it's uh, Skipper, Sybil, Ray Ray. All three of them are, are wandering around the house uh, with the, the toys on the loose. Uh, baby Oopsie encounters Skipper and stabs her, and she has no reaction to this. Uh, instead, she just keeps repeating keep it 100 and girls can do anything they want or do anything they set their mind to. It turns yeah, out I mean, it's Skipper, true. it's a message of empowerment. I appreciate it. Skipper is a fucking robot. Like, was this set up at all at any point in the previous I'm have movie? To watch this. Like people say, like you go back and watch the sixth sense again. And then you're like, Oh, right. So I'm going to have to watch baby oopsie three again. And I think it's Skipper all going to be was like, a robot the whole time. Yeah. It, yeah. I think it's all going to make sense. Skipper really is wait, mm-hmm. you know, a robot, and when when Baby Oopsie stabs her in the stomach, like she starts malfunctioning and repeating yeah. her her taglines over and over again. Yeah, uh, awesome. at one point, like someone hits her in the face with a baseball bat, and her entire like front like face plate flies off, and it's just like circuitry under her head. We find out that her 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 boss that wanted to make like a knockoff versions of baby oopsie is like controlling her with a VR headset. Uh, so Sybil and, uh, and uh, Ray Ray, and I guess the, the robot are being like held off by the toys while baby oopsie is reading the, the, the toy Necronomicon. And then in comes father McGavin, who it turns out survived his brutal stabbing in the basement, yeah. like 10 minutes ago. Uh, he comes out, with a baseball bat and hits baby oopsie away from the toy Necronomicon. And he grabs the toy Necronomicon and he summons the toy master. And we're watching this, like what the fuck? Like, is this like, is this a double twist? Like, was he just cooperating with Sybil to, so that he could have all the power, but no, he, he summons the toy master and then instructs the toy master to uh to kill all of the dolls and then it, 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 once the toy master is out of dolls to eat he starts uh kind of heading towards uh Sybil and Ray Ray but then the uh the skipper robot grabs the toy master uh her evil like knockoff toy company boss activates her self destruct her super fun self destruct feature yeah. uh which blows up the house uh all of all of our heroes flee all of the toys are destroyed. Uh, we find out that Sybil ended up like shacking up with the uh, the postal worker that had a crush on her. Uh, she's Good. woken up Good one night. Man. She's woken up one night by the ghost of her stepmom again, uh, Mitzi. And Mitzi's like, oh, you know, Sybil, you know, you're you're not as fucking dumb as I thought you were. Good job. Uh, I'm going to heaven now. And there's like a bright blue light above her head. And then it closes and like a red light opens behind below her. And she yells off, oh, fuck me to tears. And then her soul gets taken to hell. Uh, uh, so I, I don't even know what happens to Ray Ray, but Sybil, I guess, gets her happy ending. She has she's has a a boyfriend now uh, and then the end of the movie is uh father mcgavin and he's reading through the toy necronomicon and he's kind of like 
noticing there are a bunch of toys described in this book that he hasn't seen before. So we see Jack attack. We see like the, the evil teddy bear with the gnarly face. Um, and he takes the remains of baby oopsie, uh, locks it in a chest. Uh, and the, the other two pu- toys just like, uh, I, I think they just melted from the fire. Uh, but baby oopsies remains have been taken and sealed uh, and then Father McGavin says he's coming for the rest of the demonic toys, and that is the end of the movie. Thoughts, opinions. You all were, I noticed, significantly less chatter. You three were actually paying attention to the finale of this movie. <laughs> yeah, this movie is this movie is mad sick. This movie is is just hecka rad. I would I, I would have never guessed that I would like the this. You you show me the like the title and the cover art of this, and I'd be like, this is the most ridiculous, stupid thing you're waste you could possibly waste your time on. But uh, this is great. I'm all in. Baby Oopsie, let's go. Yeah, baby better Oopsie than more, Puppet Master. Back. Better than any of these other things. It's Ooh. better than a significant number of Puppet Master movies. Yes, that that sounds like <laughs> a factually true statement. <laughs> You okay, Matthew? What's going on? <laughs> Is it my turn? Oh, did somebody call me? I was just yeah. letting you guys have your yeah. piece. Yeah, no, no, let's go. I thought that, I thought this movie was uh, was overall pretty good. Um, I think the whole sort of series of these movies uh, are, are fun. I was a little disappointed in the finale, honestly. I I wanted sure. a little bit more from the Toy Master, other than just be a. a giant clown um i thought that was kind of weak uh i didn't didn't enjoy that but i'm happy that uh that uh everyone got their happy endings and that it's all sort of wrapped up and we're leading into the next thing i did look up the same director did jack attack which is also Ooh. available on tubi so after this oh. so perhaps this guy comes back Ooh. into jack attack and that's 59 minutes long so okay. it's, it's <laughs> less than 60 minutes. And, yeah. I, and I noticed uh, the, the other thing I was looking up was 47 minutes long. So it, it, I don't feel like Full Moon actually does feature films in the traditional sense anymore. I think yeah. all of them are 60 minutes or less, which I think is only a benefit to something like this. <laughs> you can put it on quick. You can get some laughs. Yeah, yeah. Like what? What is it? Um, like waning gibbous moon films or something like that. <laughs> waxing. Uh, yeah, w- waxing gibbous. Um, but yeah, so I think that's that's to their credit. Um, yeah, that yeah. These things don't overstay their welcome. Yeah. They're mm-hmm. they're they're because if you would pad this thing out to ninety minutes, there'd be so much like. Oh God, this is so boring. Yeah. We've seen some of that when we've been reviewing some of these Puppet Master movies, Steve. Where we're just like, I did. We they did make this ninety this. minutes. They just cut it in half and pretended it's two separate things. <laughs> and they knew that was the right call. <laughs> Charles Band had the foresight and the ingenuity to realize, you know what? I'm for the audience. I'm just going to split these up into two because it benefits them. They're going to take these in short, controlled bursts. I'm going to charge them twice for it, but they're going to overall have a better, better time with it. So, yeah, yeah, I want, I want to see this, uh, this priest go after the demonic toys, but yeah, I want a true puppet master versus demonic toys because, as you know, Steve, the one that we got is not technically canon. So it's not real. So channel I want, original. Yeah, with Corey Feldman playing a really old scientist. Yeah, he is. So, I remember him being like especially go. awful in that movie. Yeah, they just spray yeah. painted his hair gray to make yeah. him look like he was really old. Uh, but it's yeah, his, I, his I, normal like, Corey Feldman voice, like, "Yeah, guys, okay, puppets, we're gonna go do some puppet shit." <laughs> yeah, I yeah. was cool yeah. once when I, when it was the '80s. You guys remember the '80s? Yeah, yeah. I was a badass. You remember back the Lost then. Boys? You guys remember oh, the yeah. Lost Boys? Remember um, when I didn't have to worry you're... about rent and utilities come and do at the same time? Yeah, those were good times. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Real quick, just I mean, I'm sure this has been done, but we were talking about the holy water, and it got me thinking as we were talking because I have ADHD and I bounce around for a million things all the time. Have we seen a movie in which, like, an action movie? Surely this has been done in a vampire movie of some sort. But when bullets hit, like, they will. Yeah. Sp- like smash apart can you yeah. fill the bullets with holy water and then boom 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 shoot all the vampires yeah, and they explode like on them and burn them seems like that seems like it'd be kind of a cool idea 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've seen them the thing where they like they like carve the cross into one, but I've never seen yeah, that okay. before. Fill know. them with, or, or or like you know, in Supernatural where they have to fill the shotgun salt. shells with, with rock salt, salt yeah. to kill the yeah. ghost. Yeah. Fill it yeah. with holy water. Boom, and then it's yeah. splash. Yeah. yeah, or just make I water still, balloons. I still want a, a vampire movie where priests just go out and like bless the ocean. And then, like the entire world is covered with with holy water. Like, I mean, eventually it's gonna, you know, it's gonna turn into like uh, you know condensation or whatever, and get into the atmosphere. It's gonna rain down. Like you could kill every vampire ever by just blessing the ocean. And Matt, but wait, we're gonna here's make the, that movie. Here's the story, though. But here's the story, Steve. Right? It's it's um, you know, natural selection, Darwinism. You think it's going to kill all the vampires, but the strongest vampires can survive that. Ooh. And then what are we going to do? Hmm. Then what are we going to do? Super I mean, are the strongest vampires immune to holy water? Is that what you're saying? Um, that's what I'm well, saying. Stronger. I mean, in that situation. What happens may- when the church is not the there to save us? Yes. What, I mean, what may- exactly. Maybe the holy water kills all of the vampires, and then we learn that the vampires were keeping all of the werewolves at bay. Mm. That's good. So, so they were good. Like, message. I like this. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm down for any of this, Steve. I'll put you back in a werebear suit. Absolutely. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I think uh, Rachel, have we gotten your final thoughts? Uh, Jeff, or we? Who? Who? I think we all like this. Movie. I think this is great. I'm. I'm all in. If they make another one, I'll watch it. I, I missed. Are you going to go watch part two? Yeah, I, I am. I'm now. I'm not going to sit okay. at rapt attention, but I'm going to put it on. Well, you know, while I'm doing other <laughs> things, while I'm, while I'm getting my taxes <laughs> together and doing my taxes, I'll put Baby Oopsie two on for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. as much as Charles Band would want. Yeah. Well, he probably doesn't yeah. do his taxes. He you know evades them or whatever. He absconds. <laughs> yeah. Talk about this. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, yeah, Rachel. so I liked this one. I mean, I agree with what you guys all said. I think we have a tendency to get like overexcited and remember what we're dealing with here. So when it doesn't quite deliver on our level, we're, you know, inevitably yeah. it's a bummer. Um, I'm excited that Sybil got love. She uh, she got to be a hero. She even got to watch her horrible mother go to hell. Like it was the trifecta of good stuff. <laughs> yeah. My fear, though, I, 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 I sense a passing of the torch that I don't actually approve of. I don't, I'm, I'm all in on a baby oopsie four. I am all in on them going after the demonic toys. This is a universe that I want, I am interested in, but I do not want to see Sybil get sidelined because a big part of this for me is the Sybil and Ray Ray of it all, sure. especially Sybil. So if we want to see a, another team up of these three, I am fully on board maybe but maybe i don't want to see my girl get shelved yeah maybe maybe they do like the opposite like the the next movie is uh father mcgavin uh going after jack attack but he's he's in over his head and then he calls in sybil and ray ray like they're like they're the badasses that have to come save the day now because they're so they're so experienced fighting the demonic toys now sybil and ray ray have to have to bring back the spirit of andre toulon (laughs) <laughs> and they gotta call in help. It's all it's all about puppet, shared universes Jester. and franchises and stuff. Yeah, Jester yeah. comes back and helps them destroy the. No, destroy no he absolutely does fucking not. No, he does. In my yeah. head canon, he does. He's, so you're making thing things is, up. He's the nuke. He's the nuke. That's why we haven't seen him go oh. off because he is. Like, you got you got exactly. Hold him. But like when he finally exactly. pops up, like he's Kamikaze the nuke. was the nuke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, no. You're gonna have to do some editing on this one, my no, friend. No, I'm not I'm leaving all of this in. Oh, leaving damn. all of this Disavow. in. Disavow. I mean, I, I, I think that's it. Like, I think we're all uh, mm-hmm. we, we all generally enjoy Baby Oopsie. I think we're all probably going to look forward to watching uh, Jack Attack uh, at some point, uh, probably relatively soon, since it's free on Tubi, uh, the greatest streaming source. I'm back, guys. My I announcement. I'm back. Matt, 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 Matt. I'm back full. I'm back full time. Yeah. If you'll have me. Yeah. If you'll have me, I'm back full time. So Rachel, I'm not hearing enough begging and groveling. But I'd like to have I'm, Jeff back too. Well, look, can. guys, like I, I, t- I have a standing obligation on the day that you usually do this, so I'm probably just going to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I hope that was on purpose because it was well done. Uh, that's it. Uh, you know, Matt's back. Jeff is welcome back anytime. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Go watch Baby Oopsie. All three of them, which is really just all two of them, are free on Tubi. Uh, we'll uh, we'll be back in a month.